Hello everyone, welcome to Tech EQA channel. So after a long time we back with a new series uh, from Tech EQA which is DevOps. So this is not going to be advanced level. So this series for one who is a beginner and they just know DevOps but not, not aware what and all it is. So for them it's useful also as a QA what and all we need so that much we are going to see it so there will be some uh, advanced course also can be uploaded if i learn so this is something like learning with me basically so i'm also going to explore and going to show you guys uh, because i know basic stuff already also like i'm going to tell that also if he try to cover some advanced stuff also okay so at far at start like what we have to do is like uh, already i have already created a aws free tier account so guys don't worry about asking the card detail it will just charge two rupees you just sign up once you sign up you can just uh, land it here okay so there will, there is nothing created just created a new account so at first we'll start with the uh, 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 like ec2 ec2 what is ec2 and how we have to create a EC2 in the AWS. Okay, so before that you need to sign up. So sign up is, uh, let me let me uh, try to create a sign up also. Like let me show you how to create. Just go to console.aws.com. So you will, obviously it will go to sign in page. Just create a new AWS account. Just enter a email and uh, passwords. Something like, uh, at gmail.com this, this is a dummy mail id anyway uh, just choose some password which matches to the password policy i'm just going to show you it like it will just uh, test qa when you are clicking on the next step i think it will ask some uh, captcha something like gcnnb4 just continue uh, account already exists with this email id it says so something like i'll give my personal mail 4zyz8b okay so already have created it after that it will ask you to choose the plan just choose the plan as free tier then it will be sign up you have to validate from your email id and it may ask you a card detail and just give the card detail it will just charge two rupees for the next one year it will be free also when you are going through the courses i will tell you like where and all it will charge and how you can avoid it uh, like while you are learning okay so this is the aws console just click on home so that you can you can see all the service click on all the services you can see everything here so the majorly used uh, and uh, familiar use or most used services all uh, here actually so these are all frequently used one which is uh, like iim which is like user management and s3 is a storage management these are all rds like a kind of a db cloudwatch is for logs and lambda functions eks which is a kubectl service related ecs LR like this is a container based uh, service so these are all registries to store the container based uh, images so everything everything cost explorer so these are all we are going to see one by one like in depth so let's start with ec2 just there is a ec2 here in the all services the first service is ec2 what is actually ec2 is like for example there is a uh, there is a computer there is a, a like any computer in the remote if you want to access something like remote uh, remote computer access only command level if you feel that so that's what it's easy to there is one system in the remote you can access only through the command prompt or command level that's it there is no ui if there is something you can uh, related to that that's called ec2 for example ec2 will run one uh, server in the aws uh, with like whatever the OS we are going to tell right with that okay so as of now there is no instance nothing okay so we have we can create it one so just click on launch instance so launch instance it will ask you uh, free tier eligible free tier eligible these two only you can choose it when you are choosing Mac OS or uh, Red Dot see wherever the free tier level is there right 
only that you can choose and you can create the stuff let me choose a uh, ubuntu where it is a red dot uh, so say free tire ubuntu is there right so let me choose this 64 bit select so after select free tire uh, comes comes with only a uh, micro okay so when you are choosing large extra large and all it start uh, charging you it's it's very less actually uh, the, the charge also is, it will be very very less so it's like one dollar for a week or uh, per, per month like two dollars something like that it's based on depends on the usage only just select on this review launch because it just you have to select the os that's it right in the os selects itself they have given all the stuff like uh, preview if you want to preview so these are the sources the port number tcp ssh everything is there okay ssh for if you want to give some description you can give it otherwise no issue review and launch so next just see the instance detail here okay so which vpc network and what is the storage 8 gb and okay so we have started with 8 gb now let me launch it uh, choose the uh, existing proceed without key pair something like that uh, so we can use with key pair also it will download on pem key uh, create a new key better so key pair name is uh, login something like tech key key iphone login that will be the key pair it will download so that with this key pair you can actually uh, log in once you created the instance so i have downloaded it okay also fine if you have the private key file before you can continue store it in a secure accessible uh, proceed without key pair this actually a key pair can a public key that aws stores and a private key that you stores together that allow you to connect to instance security okay so once you download the key pair just click on launch so what happens like your instance or now launching get notified of estimation charge create a bill alert so you can create a bill alert also but don't worry next one year you will not be charged also like let it be you can like i will tell you like you uh, uh, one uh, like alternative days you can check the billing also is that any charge happened something and all so when you explore other stuff there might be a charge for this like whatever i'm i'm, I'm just uh, telling you if you try this it won't be any charges actually okay so initiated view instances just click on view instances before it was just zero now it just uh, one instance is create what is this running okay instance is already created wow nice so uh, here we have the ip address and instance id everything we have The public IP address is here. The username or something like uh, that will be uh, Ubuntu. Okay, you can change it if you want, but let it be Ubuntu. All the stuff you can see it here. Networking, private IP address. This is a public IP address. So this this will be like kind of a DNS if you have deployed any service or something like that you can uh, if you you can access through this one okay so now it might be not set up the port it may not open but so how do you open this uh, what do you call how do you open this instance from terminal or from SSH how do you do it okay so let's let's try to do it. SSH it 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 may ask you a password or else we have to give the key okay uh, it didn't actually so I tried with a private address it didn't work let's try with uh, public address SSH username uh, 52.66.210.106 uh, yeah so uh, from the uh, mistake last time what we did we should not use private address to login we have to use the 
public address okay now the permission is denied why because we need to give the key or something like that right so oh, like in this case what we, what we will do it so it's in the desktop right like you give a login something like that so we need to see what is the command to login with key pair so let's see login with aws with key pair so we have the s uh, we have the key right we just need the command that's it go here create a new pair is there uh, just stop the instance that's that's and all let it be you can see it later or we can log in through that okay mm. so the new ssr when you do your management parameter parameter name is like a key create a new pm file uh, also no the automated workflow backup choose the mi enter the automation execution key okay this is that's that's for a user i just we need just, we just need a like a command so as a search what how we have to log in okay so just log in with aws with key for terminal using ssh terminal so ssh iphone i key and the ip address okay that's it now let's go here same command what we have to do is uh iphone i Uh, home, home. User right, right. Users, the ma, desktop, a key key a certified key, and try to log in. So again, it says permission denied. uh sudo ch more blah 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 we need to make it so we have in downloaded uh, some certificate right instead of that we need to download a key which is uh chain security group i am monitor Uh, edit is the data manage instant state so connect okay mm so we need to log in with pm file but where do we have the pm file look at the private locate your private is in the launch in the instance so it will connect through your browser also okay here it is fine but but uh, we need a pm file right so let's see how to get the pm file this is one way and go to as a search client so like uh, we'll try to copy from the uh, new instance so what happened like the previous instance which we created i think there is some issue so created a new instance the same way under logged in a pm file so while downloading just add pm file and download it so uh, after adding it like what you have to do it just copy the file and go to a terminal something like what i'll do it's downloaded in desktop right let me go Yes, search iPhone Hi. Uh, the file name, which is a private uh, for key, then Ubuntu at the rate the IP address. So once you done, I think the new instance you have created from here. Okay, you can just uh, something like you can some create some file test dot 
text something like that okay so you are logged in uh, with the server i think you can see it here ubuntu the ip address you are accessing this so it is it is now currently is in your control that you can do whatever you want with the a remote server something like you can install any services you can install java python or whatever you want it here i think nothing will be installed yeah it's like a fresh system they have given to you you can if you want to install something like a java you can just choose any one and uh, directly install it okay open jdk jre atlas 11 so if you just want just click on it use it so i'm just installing also so if, if you as a QA, like if you got any request to set up something on the new instance or JMeter or some some stuff, you can just log in and do whatever you want with the remote system. So this is how you can connect from the SSH. Already I have told you how to connect uh, uh, directly from the what directly from the UI. So created this new one. See here connect. Already we have connected. So here also directly you can go here. If you have the access username is ubuntu just click on connect so from the ui it will directly open the terminal okay so from here also you can do whatever you want okay so high f config okay all the tool everything has to be installed it's a fresh uh, ec2 machine new machine something like new uh, system is in the remote for you so that is what ec2 nothing else you can do whatever you want with the ip address for example, if there is any local server or server you have installed it, you can access with the IP address which you, which we are like which we have them mentioned it here. So I will show you. Yeah, here is the IP address. For example, if you have any local server installed in this instance, if it is accessible, so you can access with this IP address. So that might be we can see in the advanced session or something like that. This is the basic create and accessing from the uh, remote. Also, you can just click on it. You just go to stop you, you can just stop instance or uh, there are some time they will they will just ask you to please check the instance if it is running or not or please restart the instance something like that they will tell so that time you have to stop and then again you have to start so wait for some time okay it has to start stop first then you can start it so you have to wait till it stopped it should say stopped so we yeah it stopped now now click on it go and start pending so it will start in some time so if you try to access the instance now it see the connection got closed it may not so once it started only it will able to connect it uh, still it started it still it is pending so once it started you can connect and do it or you can launch uh, instance from here also okay this is about uh, ec2 uh, kind of a uh, basic introduction uh, for a qa or anyone like who la who just want to learn basics like even i i am also exploring with you guys I, I i have done a few before but again i started from a fresh i'm just sharing with you guys also okay anyway thanks for uh, watching video guys if you have any other thing has to be covered or any issue you are facing please put into comments let's uh, solve together okay thank you